Uh, Dave, correct? Is that right? That's right. Um, and you're uh, an employee of Dangerous Hex? That's correct. Right. And what, and what are you getting ready here? What are you doing today? Well, actually, right now I'm getting the ramp ready for Dangerous to... Uh, he'll be jumping a swimming pool today. Uh, we've been up all night trying to calculate this jump. We've got it on paper. Uh, we feel it's going to be a piece of cake. Right. Yeah. Where is Dangerous Hicks? Could I uh, maybe speak to him? Yeah, he's uh, he's in the change room getting getting ready for the uh, the jump. He's got special equipment he has to put on. Uh, obviously, this is a very dangerous stunt. Yeah. And he's uh, gonna. What's he gonna jump it with a go kart? He'll be jumping it with a go kart. We've attached a kite to it to give it more lift. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Just want to check in. I'll uh, try to see if I can round up Dangerous Hicks. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, well, here we are with uh, Dangerous Hicks again. Uh, now, the last time when you jumped through the ring of fire, you told me that your next stunt, you were, you were going to jump Smith Mountain Lake here pretty soon. And I, I figured that's what you would be doing on this episode. Well, uh, I really don't have the funds built up yet to build the ramp, and there's still a lot of paperwork uh, with the lake authorities that hasn't went through yet. Uh huh. So uh, we're working on it, and... Uh, and that, I'm gonna fin I'm gonna get to that before summer's over. Right, but today you're gonna. Why are you jumping? Well, a, a um, well, pool? yeah. The, well, this is to prepare myself. This is kind of a dry run for the lake. I want to do a dry run and, and kind of get used to going over water. Right. And uh, things like that. So this is kind of just a practice run for the real thing. Right. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I'll let you get ready for your jump. It's a lot of water. We might have to uh, have somebody do this so we can see the water. Uh, because the water's sitting so low, Dave, I can't tell where the water starts. So for a visual, we might have to kind of spray it like that so we can tell where the water is. Now, Dave, go over this one more time with me. Well, as I explained earlier, you're going to be hitting the ramp at 55 miles an hour at this point, at the end of the ramp. You're on a 52 degree angle. Uh, we only figured, we figured with gas you could get 40 miles per hour, with the Cam 2 you could get 55, and that's what we's gonna, we're going to use, the Cam 2 fuel. Okay, Cam 2, right. That's, that stuff's explosive. Very that's flammable. Uh, probably we're going to have a fire extinguisher nearby. If any leaks out in the pool, the heat off the uh, muffler could catch the thing on fire. Uh, let's just not worry about that at this hey, point. Hey guys, I, I know you're, you're very busy and everything looks real technical here and I don't want to interrupt I, I definitely don't want to foul up anything but I myself and probably the viewers are wondering I see on your diagram there a kite yeah we forgot to mention the kite uh, just the go-kart and and my weight is just too much and uh, to make this so so we've made a kite to fit on the go-kart to, to help me uh, it won't it won't matter so much right here but for the lake jump I'm gonna need that kite. This is just gonna give him more hang time. Yeah. More hang time, he's gonna need that. All right. Okay, well, uh, all right, well, go ahead. We wanna see the jump, I guess. Be careful, dangerous. Uh, I see we're using duct tape there, Dave. Yeah, duct tape. Uh, it's uh, it's what they use in NASCAR to like yeah. repair fenders and stuff. With. And you're uh, so this is the kite. This is the the kite here, dangerous. Yeah, this is our kite. Uh, we spent up you know most of the night last night designing it. And, yeah. Uh, and we really didn't have time to finish. Actually, we we would have already had it on here, but we was afraid we'd have to. It might pick the trailer off the ground, towing it over here. Yeah. But uh. That's why we had to leave that off. All right, it's starting to lift. Okay, just try to hold it tight there. Uh, 
hope we don't get this. This looks like a storm coming. Might get a lot of wind. It might even lift you up further than you want to go. Hope that don't happen. That don't sound. What, uh, what are you getting ready to do now, Dave? Uh, I'm going to inflate the tires with this quick flat fix. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you had this problem last time. Why, why don't y'all yeah. just get the tires fixed? Why do why you always well, have to keep putting air in them? Dangerous. He's a, still, you know, he's got a budget he's got to look at. And, yeah. Uh, there's actually been no no funds rolling in yet for, for all, of the, all these stunts. But right. uh, one day, that's going to change, I'm sure. So, for the time being, we just have to use what we can. Okay. Uh, the last time with just air, we just put air in it, and it uh, it didn't seem to to hold up real well. So this time we were thinking this might be do the trick. Yeah, seems to be working real well. Yeah. Never mind the foam; it's supposed to do that. Oh, is it? Yeah, but it's not supposed to do that. Though. All the uh, the cap came off. Well, uh, you're about ready for the jump, dangerous. Yeah, we've we've had a little bit of problems with the motor on the. Uh on the go-kart, David's up there working on it now, and uh, what I do is I thought I'd go ahead and get the finishing touches down here. Right. With the, make sure everything's right and the ramp set up. Now, what do you what do you got here? What's the a life jacket? Oh yeah, the life jacket. Uh, so, so if something does go wrong, you know, and I get knocked out or something like that, I, I won't drown. It's not really all that deep. I guess the only way that would happen is like maybe if you just landed face first and were knocked out, then I guess you could drown in it. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm kind of just trying to get used to it too for the big lake jump, you see. Right. And, uh, so this is more. I mean, this is this is still a dangerous stunt, but it's kind of depressing for jumping Smith Mountain Lake. Right. Which you're definitely going to do. We're going. Yeah. That's. Uh, well, what are you doing now? Well, these are. Uh, this is another thing to prep. These are little toy boats. And I bought these because they're uh, about the same size that they would be in proportion at the lake uh, when I do jump over the lake. So I kind of get used to uh, see if I'm the right height and stuff while we're, you know, soaring. Right. Yeah. Because, you know, more than likely we're not going to be able to close off that section of the lake. So there's probably going to be a lot of boats out there, you know, watching the stunt. And uh, so this kind of gets me psychologically prepped. For that. Right. Hey, Dangerous, uh, it looks like you got a, a fan coming through the field there. Yeah, I can't keep her away. I, I try to sneak off, but she always finds out where I'm, where I'm at and, and likes to watch. Now, are you a, uh, are you a fan of Dangerous Hicks? I'm a huge fan yeah. of Dangerous Hicks, yeah. What do you do, just... Well, you know, I've sent him... 50, 60 postcards. He doesn't write back, but I know he's a busy guy, so I keep coming to his stuff to, you know, cheer him on and watch what he does. Right. What's with the uh, the bathing suit? Well, I'm hoping to actually get in the water that he's going to jump. I, Well, I'd like to be in the water. When he actually jumps it, you know, right. put my life on the line for him, but I don't know if Mr. Stanley's going to let me do that, the host, um, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Okay. Yeah. All right, Dangerous, I hear the engine running. One more time now, explain what, what you're going to do here. Well, if I remember properly, I'm going to hit up about 45 or 55, 55 degrees, hit the ramp. 55 degrees? 55 miles per hour. Uh, it breaks my concentration. It takes a lot of mental concentrations right before these stunts. But 55 mile an hour, clear of the lake or the pool, and uh, hopefully land over there in that kind of tall green grass area.
You need to get the hell out of here. All right? No. This is my no. show. I'm not going to let some no, scantily clad fan just come up and steal the show. I'm Ed Stanley. This is my show. All right, three. I don't have the kind two, of insurance to deal with. One. Camera rolling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Dangerous Hicks. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me lay this out on the table. You've seen him jump over two beer cans. You've seen him jump through a hoop of real fire. You've seen him turn down a prostitute. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a special night. He's going to top everything he's ever done, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to jump over an entire swimming pool. So let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Dangerous Hicks. <laughs> and, and what's this? Uh, what's this thing all about here, Dave? The boats? No, the the oh, little. This, uh, this is a sprinkler system. Uh, we thought maybe it would cool the engine down a little bit uh, right before the approach. Uh, we're starting to get some rain now. We're going to have to pretty go pretty quick. Uh, we've had some mechanical problems, but uh, I think we've got that fixed also. Uh, everybody, stay back. It's very dangerous. Stay back. <laughs> yes! Yes, you did it! You did it! You made it! <coughs> Dad, that was beautiful! Are you okay? You okay, Dangerous? Yeah, a little shook up. That was a good jump, eh? Clear it? Yeah, you, you cleared it, the whole thing, man. What of a successful jump? It was a great jump. Yeah. It was good. What's uh, what's with your neck, that thing on your neck? Well, it's just a precaution. Uh, I've got to go to the hospital and get checked out, uh, just in case maybe a cracked a bone or something like that. Right. So you think, uh, are, you, are you prepped for the lake? I, uh, I noticed uh, that when Dave rushed in with the fire extinguisher, you might have breathed some of that stuff. It looked like you were coughing. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, about, the water wasn't so bad, but uh, but that, that stuff about killed me, it seemed like. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you feel uh, prepped to jump Smith Mountain Lake now? Yeah, I'm, I'm all ready. I think everything's worked out. Uh, Can you give us a date? Like what date you'll do that on? And uh, Maybe the... F well, I'd rather, rather not right yet. Let's, let's not disclose that right now. Dangerous. Uh, okay. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, we enjoyed the jump, and I uh, guess we'll be seeing you on another episode, Jumping Smith Mountain Lake. Yeah, that'll be the next jump. <laughs>